we're gonna drive on the loneliest highway in America. Luckily, while we're driving, we have the connection to charge our battery. podcast about where to eat and what to do along the way and I don't know if it's the pandemic but this place is definitely falling on hard times the highly rated restaurant is no longer open there is a international cafe so let's check it out and see if we can get lunch Okay, scratch that. We're not getting food at the International Cafe. They had a sign that said, no masks allowed inside, remove masks before entering. And we were gonna order and eat outside on the table and wear a mask when we order. Um, so instead we're getting gas and then we just happen to see there's a food truck here with burgers. So we're gonna get that instead. Cheers to Austin. Stop for guests in Austin, there's a food truck. And you can get deep fried pickles. Spicy deep fried pickles. Mm -hmm. At the gas station parking lot. Uh-huh. And then the guys who are just hunting can give you weird looks because your husband has a Dodgers hat on. <laughs> So one of the things that's been a bust is we listened to this whole podcast about places to eat along the way. And uh, so far, 50% of those places are closed.
too? Yeah, they're closed anyway. <laughs> I wonder if they all start to close by this time. You know how we saw that one place was closes tomorrow uh, in season? The pharmacy is closed. We're going down a side street because some lady said she thought there might be coffee. Yeah. You you Whatever you want. Get me. Oh, hi. Thank you. It's really cute in there. They kept trying to sell me food and I was all in the house. almost through the state where this is like the town before the last town on this loneliest highway loneliest road in america um it's the biggest one we've been to so far mm -hmm. except for carson 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 city, city yeah after we it's left carson capital. city it was pretty pretty yeah. slim pretty small in fact one of the stops Middlegate Station. We, we missed completely. We, we were drove, like, we drove past it before we realized that's what it was. <laughs> we're like, what are those trucks doing there? Is that a, just a rest stop? Oh, that's because we city. listened to three podcast episodes from Travel Nevada about all the food to eat along this road, and as you saw, we were unsuccessful. Most things were closed. We ate. We did eat at one place, and that one lady gave us coffee that I, I never finished. Um, right before they closed. So we're gonna sleep at a love's truck stop. Oh, we're both tired. Hi, Teddy. Are you tired too? We're gonna sleep at a love's truck stop and maybe get up in the morning and see a national park. Yeah. Right. We, yeah. All right, good night. <laughs> yeah, if you wanna sleep. I was gonna tell you the story that we drove all the way across Nevada thinking we were charging our battery. Luckily, while we're driving, we have the connection to charge our battery. Oh, yeah. And apparently, <laughs> the thing wasn't plugged in all the way. And so we got to this campsite and realized we had yeah. very little power and no internet. And so we decided to just keep driving. Anyways. Yeah, we were going to sleep on this BLM campsite. And then we looked at our battery thing and it was like 30 something percent. And the electric mattress pad takes like that much energy and so we were like oh what about the fridge what about the fan everything <laughs> so we just decided to keep driving and charge it some more all right good night good night it's, it's like 33 degrees out and this is our last day on the loneliest road in America. Today we should finish Nevada and enter Utah. Not a fan of truck stops. They're noisy. I think I've said this before, the, the truck drivers leave their cars on all night long. Here, Teddy. heard of that has the oldest trees did that they say the oldest trees on earth uh, <clears throat> or oldest trees that are still alive Something like that. about right here 
not open right now for breakfast, only open for dinner now. And it's the last day of the season. So I think that's kind of been our luck thus far. Okay, despite that, we're going to go to the visitor center for the Great Basin National Park. Never heard of this park before, but saw it on the map. Have you ever heard of this park, Will? No. Just kidding, obviously that was closed. The cave visitor center is open because the caves are open year round though. So. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, Rudolph's something. Have to do with Rudolph. Uh. So, walking around the campground, checking it out, seeing if there are some spots we'd like to camp in. I'll tell you that on the website, Will. Uh huh. A lot of people said they're very hard to find a flat oh. spot. Ooh, this one looks good and someone already gathered firewood for us. <laughs> This was carved by a glacier. Very pretty. It's crazy. There's like nobody here. We're above 9,000 feet and we've passed plenty of snow. Come here, Teddy. Um, yeah, so 9,000 feet. We definitely passed a lot of snow. Um, the roads are clear though and we're actually camping the campsites we're at closed for the season tomorrow so it's the last night we could camp so we got here right on time beautiful campsites and it's supposed to snow tonight or tomorrow morning 